Hey guys, so before we start the video, I have put a freelance services link that I provide in the description of this video and you can basically go and check them out. So let's start. Hey guys, so today I'm going to share a really interesting website and that website is used for a purpose of removing watermarks from images watermarkremover.io now for removing watermark this website is probably one of the best ones that i have found the thing is that uh, there are many different projects that you may need to remove watermarks for so just just say for example i got this image from shutterstock and uh, all you have to do is just uh, put it on upload here I, I will show you the process but before we start with the process just one disclaimer do not use this for websites like these because these websites already have their images licensed and you don't want any kind of you know legal or notice issues with these websites my recommendation is buy their license and then do it but there are some websites where you can remove watermarks from uh, and uh, it depends on project to project so let's just start and let's just see if we can upload our image here so this is this is how you can so this is the image let's click on the image and it is uploading okay uh, hold on what happened one more time right. i think i think it's done yeah it's done okay look at here so this was the watermark from shutterstock and it has removed it in just one click so if you are not really proficient with the photoshop or other photo editing tools you can use this now as far as the editing goes as i said before you have to understand do not use this for purposes like this always use this for you know for your personal use don't go for commercial or very personal you can but make sure that uh, always uh, you know use for websites that do not get you in trouble in any sense uh, this is watermark remover.io you can use this to remove watermark for whatever project you are you are basically trying to do it for and uh, yeah it's free to use easy now there are some pricing plans too let's just check out some pricing plans before we go let's see okay okay so these are so 50 images a month 300 images a month 10k basic transformation 90k 360k 1.5 million 25 gb storage 25 gb bandwidth so yeah so this these are the plans and you can see they got other uh, other websites too which is basically by pixelbean.io so let's see erase.bg i've used this product too so this is a background remover let's just test this for you guys i can show you a demo okay let's just go let's upload so and i have already shown a background remover before this but uh, let's just let's just see how good this one works okay it's uploading it's taking a little bit of time maybe because some other softwares are running in the background but uh, let's see yeah it's processing as you can see look the whole yellow background is out now it does not remove the whole uh, watermark properly but uh, if you already have an image with no watermark and stuff you can definitely use what background remover and background remover is really good for two things that i use it in for background remover background remover is good for product images and image overlays now if you don't know what image overlay is image overlay is basically for any kind of project where you have to put an image over certain other image or a video uh, images with background does not look really good uh, when it comes to projects like them so always use a png image with transparent background it will look really good and also for logos and stuff but uh, when you create a logo that's just a different process you always use a transparent png uh, so they look good 
Now, product images, definitely product images, you can use these, these images with transparent background and put your, your background, whatever background you want to put it there. So you can have better impression on your customers. And uh, yeah, so that's the one with the background image remover. Let's just go for the resize one. Resize one, you already know. These are with the dynamics and stuff. I don't think that I need to give a demo for this. But if you guys have any problem with this kind of this particular website, please comment. I will definitely show you a demo. But uh, you can see it is according to photo quality and photo dimensions. Next is AI enhancement upscale. It is so good upscale. I have used this particular service and I absolutely love it. So let's just let me just show you with some image that I have got. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. what do we have here uh, yeah here you go so let's just see mm, yeah this image let's just upscale this image it is processing you can use this so now whenever you hear AI you have to make sure normal upscaling by 2x uh 2x hold on so what happened normal upscale okay so this is upscale already 2x okay so this is already upscaled this is this is called a pixel art i absolutely love pixel art so i use them for different purposes now for 4x okay for 4x i think you have to use a paid version no there, there's no need for paid version uh, so this basically upscale means it may increase this image size image by dimensions so by dimension so it's very necessary when it comes to some projects where you need a bigger image and you don't want to lose the quality uh, and according to them you don't lose a whole lot of quality with it so let's just uh, see if it is true so it is a little, bit, a little bit slow hold on for some reason uh, what's going on all right, so because of the pixels and stuff, it is a little bit hanging a little bit, but uh, no problem. Now we are here, enhance quality on. Enhance quality, let's just turn on the enhance quality. It's processing, yeah, the quality is enhanced. And uh, I can see visible difference, visible difference here. The quality is better. Uh, or maybe this is something that I'm just and I want to believe that a quality is better. Sometimes websites do that. I hope this website is not doing this, but they do. They just put a toggle there and make us believe that they are doing something, which is it's just something kind of placebo effect on us. But anyways, let's just go. Let's just check out. And uh, yeah, so here it is. So the image size, let's check out the image size, file information. 4096 by 4096 okay so this is how you upscale the image the original size was let's check the original size original size was uh, hold on let's just save this mm. let's check the original size also file information look at this 1024 into 1024 and when we resize the image, it is one. It is four thousand ninety-six into four thousand ninety-six. The quality is. Uh, let's just zoom in. Although it's pixel art, so let's just zoom in the right way. Let's see. Okay. So this is how the lines look. Let's see. Yeah. I think. Yeah, this one looks better. 4096 looks better. I think it looks better, but uh, okay. So I will use it for some of my print on demand product and get them printed on my t shirt or something. And I will order it for my, you know, house. And I will basically show you the results uh, once I get the product. Because most of the time, upscale is used for graphic upscaling for print on demand or for your website graphics but uh, that's all there is to it for this one and uh, these are the three services that they provide four services in total background remove watermark remover background remover resizing and upload upscale images so that's all there is to it thanks for watching thank you